Welcome back, mon ami, to the next episode in our The Operational Art of War 4 series. As many of you guys know, we are playing as the French, of course, here in the Indochina War, the first Indochina War, uh, basically the first Vietnamese War, and guys, it's been tough. Um, for those of you that have not checked out the recent episodes, I highly recommend you start at the beginning for this series because so much needs to be seen. Um, I think right here at the south, this has really been our weakest point, point. Um, and I'm going to try to actually hit the enemy engineer brigades here with quite a few of our men, try to alleviate some of the pressure here in the south. We're doing a lot better in the north, but that being said, the overwhelming number of Viet Minh might still make it impossible for us to secure any sort of victory. Looks like we also got um, some extra air support here, the Gascon 119 aircraft. I'm not sure what kind it is, but I'm sure it's probably a bomber. Um, we'll go ahead, select the attack. Trying to see if I could bring literally anybody else for this attack, even if it's just a one ANV infantry division. I believe that's Army Nationale Vietnamese, so I believe that's actually uh, South Vietnamese units, if I'm not mistaken. And there we go. Now, our likelihood of success here is very poor. They actually have quite a lot of units uh, held out here. Another problem is they're starting to break into these regions of Thai Binh, and we just have no way of really fighting them off. I I'm thinking the only thing we can really do is uh, basically go ahead and open fire on their HQ, which is what we're going to try to do, even though it's pretty ineffective. Uh, we can at least get some shots and maybe a lucky hit on one of the Viet Cong, or excuse me, Viet Minh generals. So we already have a small guerrilla force over here at Dinh Lap. For all we know, this could be the beginning of another major offensive. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and plan an attack here with the French Foreign Legion and the other existing troops here. Uh, I believe these are just standard colonial troops. We're going to hope for the best and just attack that area. We have no idea what to expect. Uh, and I'm going to keep trying to move forward with the rest of these guys. Basically, just eat up territory like Luke Nigan, I believe is the way to pronounce it. Ah, look at that. They've got some more men here. Go ahead, plan an attack. And sure enough, it's a garrison unit of criminals. Remember that black usually means a criminal element. Over here, we were doing really well. Maybe we can keep that up. So let's hit this guy. Oh, man. Two, three. We can do this, boys. We're also going to get multiple attacks. Oh, yeah. We're not even going to send everybody in. That's enough. I don't really want that guy getting through, but honestly, I think it's more important for us to destroy these guys um, as best we can. Remember, last time we cut them off and we trapped them, and that's exactly what we're about to do with this unit. A lot of people commented that that worked out well, and it definitely did. So I'm going to try the same over here with these guys. Why can't I select? Unfortunately, a lot of our guys are very low on ammo, but already the chances are excellent, even with that attack, so I'll take it. Basically, both of our infantry legion uh, are coming here to attack, so that's beautiful. I'm going to move our guys into fuck ye. <laughs> come on, come on, grow up, uh, and we're going to attack this unit. So just some guys on our outskirts. We're even bringing in the paratroopers. Those guys with the red um, but white sort of lettering, those are our paratrooper units, and they know exactly how to get rid of Viet Minh. So I'm going to send them in. We might even send in some of our national forces to attack this town. I don't think it's going to go too well, but... At least we'll show the enemy that um, we are definitely ready for a fight. We're not just going to give up. What else can we do? I think we've done quite a lot so far. Let's hope this works. Of course, that could break up the line over here. It looks like a lot of the enemies are coming from Tainuguin. That's obviously the area we want to get to and take. Um, but we've done a pretty good job in the north. I think you guys will agree if you've taken a look at the other episodes. Um, at keeping the enemy at bay. So we just need to keep that up, and we got to get these reinforcements to the south as soon as we can. So we're going to keep moving north with these guys. Nice. Nothing better than a nice clear road, and we're also making sure that the coastal areas do not have enemies. Quite often, they have small groups of enemies, like right there, you see? Garrison units that we just destroyed. So we do have to worry about that. I think the train is broken. That, th that thing is not working properly. Let's go to the south. 
Now, the south is where we really have almost no issues because the area is very loyal to us. So as you can see, we could just basically kick the enemy around. And we want to keep on moving uh, eastwards here, just basically hunting for enemies in the jungle uh, or along the rail lines, really. Um, obviously, we do want to send some infantry units in the jungle to hunt the enemy, but that's a bit more dangerous, as you guys could probably imagine. Uh, also, we've got a lot of enemies over here in the swamps. It wouldn't be a bad idea to hit them as, as soon as possible. Um, right now, I'm going to hit these guys. I don't even think I need to bring everybody forward. I'm just going to see if this is enough. Very well done, boys. Take that guy, move him south. Move this guy to the south as well. And actually, I am going to engage. We have a little bit of air support. Success is poor. We are fighting um, in a village. There's actually a tiny village here in the south. So they get a defensive bonus um, in this swampy village. But hopefully we manage to do some serious damage. Heck, maybe we could even bring this guy down. No, but we could bring the Cavalry Legion... Um, and the CFEO Saigon. So let's do that. Let's bring the CFEO Saigon as well. Start moving south here. The single unit. Oh, this is an actual attack. Never mind. Let's plan an attack. We don't know what we're facing. But we do want to get to the south here to Kamau. That's really the, the main... VC stronghold in the south. They don't have nearly as much of a hold here as they do in the north. And I do apologize. I keep saying VC. We, these are the Viet Minh. Yes, they are the, the pre-evolutionary stage of the VC, but really we want to call them by their appropriate name. So these are the Viet Minh. Um, let's take a look over here. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we can do. We could put this guy on the line. Actually... Ooh, maybe another attack is possible here. And this is just with our standard infantry divisions. If they could make the enemy run, that would be excellent. Chance of success is very poor, though, so don't hope for much, guys. Here we go to the end turn. Nice, look at that. Enemy unit retreating, although... Oh yes, we're taking Wabin. This is a major enemy stronghold. This is where we trap the enemy, and sure enough, excellent job by our men. Enemy HQ hit by our river boat, and we got them to retreat. This is an excellent mission. Um, so far, we're actually doing really, really well. Here we go. But we know that the Viet Minh have a very, very, very bad habit of making us think we're doing well and then suddenly crushing us completely. Absolutely exceptional job, guys. I can't believe our men are doing this well. 60% um, of our turn remains. And as you can see here, in some cases, we completely destroyed the enemy. Um, that one's not as impressive. We want to go to the areas where they actually had a really big presence. Um, up here, for instance, we can see 37% of their forces down there. Basically a group. Not a lot of losses on our side either. Um, we also have positions like this. Another very tentative position where we managed to wipe out quite a lot but of course we also have situations like this one that be begin to become more and more common during the war where we actually took a lot of hits there uh, and the enemy took few if none they probably ran away before they could even get hit that hard although as you can see um we definitely did a bunch of damage to these guys so i want to keep that up i want to keep trying to attack them if possible uh to wipe out their their attack capabilities essentially so we're gonna go ahead and continue this guys likelihood of success is poor i don't care now i'm gonna try to take ning bing we might not be able to take it this turn but maybe next turn we'll attack their hq again again i don't think their hq has like any defenses really but we also have a huge enemy unit right there and that's definitely concerning to me so we're going to try to go for our standard attack uh, procedure here. And we actually have uh, some assistance 
from the Fatiem Out One. I'm not sure who these guys are, but I think they're irregular, so they could be tribal troops. Um, I mentioned to you guys the Montagnards. There were a lot of different sort of um, Vietnamese groups that were pro-France. Um, not too many, but they did exist. So let's hope that works, because that's a huge chunk of enemies. Up here in the north, our paratroopers, as well as the rest of these guys, have been doing an amazing job. And I think we need to keep that up. So we're going to move forward with these guys. And now we are on the offensive, okay? We are going to go towards Tai Nguyen, uh, the VC, or excuse me, the VH, VMH stronghold. Go ahead and send in all of these units. And this is going to be a serious attack. This is like we were soldiers type deal right here. Um, they have a large group. Um, as you can see there, we're going to add more to the attack, as a matter of fact, because look at all the men they have. They also have an HQ that could be over two to 3,000 men. We just don't know. So we're going to send in everybody. Everyone! If anybody can name the movie, you get a prize. <laughs> not tell you what that prize is yet. We're also going to go ahead and hit these units that are kind of stragglers. I don't like stragglers. Unfortunately, our fuel is in trouble. Oh, no. Yeah, we've also attacked once this turn, so I don't think our guys are too into attacking right now. Well, we might have to wait until the enemy does their turn. Alright, let's move into Hua Bin. If we can't move in with this unit, we're going to have to get um, probably one of the French armored units to move into Hua Bin. But it's open now, so this is definitely an opportunity for us to take some of these areas. It's a shame that these uh, militia units can't move out of their towns. Otherwise, we could take places like Yen Bay and really cut down um, the VC presence. The VM presence, damn it, Viet Minh! You kakadao! I think we've done everything we can, really. Um, and we will end the turn right here, guys. HQ definitely held strong, but we did manage to push him back here. What about that 512? That's a huge group of men. Hey, we managed to force him back. We didn't do a lot of damage, but it's a start. It, it's definitely a start. There we go. Nice attack. Oh, that's going to be a brutal one. 20% of our turn remains, man. That attack was brutal. Um, that's cool, but I want to see the most recent one. This is the one up here. Look at that, guys. That's our major assault. You can see here we destroyed a ton of rifle squads, SMG squads, mortars, medium machine guns, all sorts of units. Um, as for our attacking forces, hey, we didn't get out of this battle unscathed either. A lot of light riflemen lost their lives, um, assault squads as well, but in general, man, we definitely pushed the enemy back. We've got to keep doing that. We've got to keep doing that. So 20% of our turn left, chances are we can't do much um, right now with just 20%. Um, our guys are going to have to wait till the next turn. But whatever we can do, we will. So thinking right now, if I can keep on attacking the enemy and doing damage here in the south, why the heck not? Although, as you can see, a lot of our units are crossed out because they've already fought this turn. They're tired, man. They've <laughs> Just imagine being in a gun battle an entire day. Then imagine being in a gun battle for a week. Yeah, it's no wonder that those guys are unable to attack right now. So I understand that. That being said, these guys should be able to attack. And we're going to hit this group of Viet Minh units. The more we kill, the better. Just like the Americans in Vietnam, body count is huge here. Um, we've got to raise that body count. Unfortunately, some of these guys could easily break through here and get to Hua Dong. We could respond pretty quickly, but it's going to be a pain in the ass. Let's end our turn, guys. Turn it over to the Viet Minh. France is doing excellent right now. I hope they don't push us back like they usually do. But you can see there are a tremendous amount of enemy loss in a lot of different areas, guys. I mean, just... We're doing well. We're doing well right now, but just watch. We'll wait for the enemy turn. We'll see just how well we're doing. They have an awful habit of cutting through even when they are being beaten on the field. They're a guerrilla army, so they break through anyway. They don't really care about field battles, big field battles where we destroy large chunks of their men. Uh, they could still move in with smaller chunks like you see here and get themselves stuck in um, to our positions. 
So right here, they're hitting our very weak units, and they are getting closer and closer to our main cities. Wow, look at that group, guys. Oh my goodness, I thought there were no men in the south, but now we know that there's a major force coming to the south. It might take them a while, but they're on the way, um, and we're going to have to deal with them. Hold, boys. It looks like our men held. Beautiful. They held there as well. So at least for once, our men seem to be holding against the Viet, Viet Minh human wave attacks um, fairly well. Of course, they're still going to lose a lot of men when this occurs. Wow, even their artillery regiment attempted an attack, an actual assault um, on our infantry regiment. Luckily, we held, but it just shows how desperate they are, guys, to get at our throats. They want to kill us badly. They want us out of their country, and uh, that's very obvious here. Hold, boys. Wow, the Ligne de Latre held. And as you can see, once again, um, as we usually see with the Viet Minh turn, they, they do more or less sort of weak attacks, um, which is very typical of a guerrilla army. They come out, they fire a few shots, they run them back into the jungle. And if they do that little by little, they're going to wear our army down. As you can see, they're only taking out like 6%, 7%, 10%, um, you know, 15% at the most. But if they keep doing that every turn, we are eventually going to have absolutely nothing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and accept that situation. I actually consider this, and you guys can disagree with me in the comments if you'd like. Um, by the way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I think that this is the best turn we've had so far. And now that we've got the enemy trapped here in a few situations, we face the possibility of being able to get a major assault to destroy the enemy headquarters centers, um, disrupt enemy communications in the south dramatically, and encircle the enemies here in the north. I think this is actually leading to a very, very big win, um, at least initially. Remember, we're playing the entire uh, French Indochina War, so I hope you guys are in it for the long haul. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up going to episode 50 or 60, um, but I'm going to keep on with it. So make sure to keep on liking it, keep on supporting it, and thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with the next turn. Um, Hopefully in a few days. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So obviously, the more of you guys that like the video, the more likely I am uh, to go ahead and upload that ASAP. Thanks again, guys. Take care and have an awesome, awesome day. Vive la France.